Hi, and welcome to this Cinema 4D tutorial on customization. Today I will show you how you can customize your layout in Cinema 4D. And to start, we'll just uh, have a look at this window. This is what you see when you start Cinema 4D for the first time. It is uh, fairly recognizable with their with the tools on the sides and on the top. And uh, but uh, it's not very it's not very personal, right? So uh, let's just start with uh, what most people tend to do when uh, they have either reinstalled uh, Cinema 4D or is uh, starting Cinema 4D for the first time. So go up to Edit and Preferences and change the scheme from light to dark. As you can see it's much better for the eyes and uh, it's uh, easier to distinguish the different uh, windows and boxes from each other. Right, so um, what you also can do is to uh, change the way the inf interface looks. So if you, if you go up to Window, go to Layout, and you can see this, but I'm going to go to um, Edit Palettes. And now you can drag the different tools around. You see, you can drag them around. You can even drag them from one palette to another. Oops. Alright, so go up to Window again, Layout, and New Palette. Just drag it into here. Okay, now we have an empty palette where we can fill up our, our own tools if you want to. So go up to pl uh, Windows, Window, Layout, Command Manager, and what you see here is all the different tools that Cinema 4D offers. This is way too much to have on the interface, but we'll choose a few. Okay, so let's say that we want the uh, Connect tool and the Solve tool and Edge Cut readily available. So you don't have to go up to Structure and select it, but you can just have it on your interface and quickly select it. So I'll just write in Edge Cut, which is one of the tools we want. Here we go. And just hold it and drag it into the empty palette. See, now we have the edge cut tool. So go up to function again and find uh, no structure and find another tool that you want. Let's say magnet. You want that readily available. Magnet. And be sure to check at that you uh, choose the right one. Because now there's right here there's two tools with the same name. But you can see on the little icon right here, which one is uh, the right one. And uh, let's say you want weld to be readily available as well. We'll weld. Alright, now we have three tools, which is uh, what we want, but uh, let's say that you want some tools from uh, animation, no, uh, functions, I mean. Let's say you want uh, collapse, melt and optimize readily available. Then I'll just write um, Optimize, drag it in, uh, melt, and at last um, collapse. Uh, a good, uh, a uh, handy thing to notice is that uh, instead of having all of the tools on one line, you can add a separator and drag it in perhaps even two, to uh, really distinguish the three different tools because uh, they are from different uh, menus up here. Okay, But it's not very handy now, is it? Because it's just on top of here and we don't want that. So if you see those little dots over here, click them and drag them to where wherever you want them. Let's say I want them on the side here, with besides the uh, modeling tools. Now I have my tools here and they are readily available and I can just quickly select them. See. Okay, uh, another thing that's cool with uh, Cinema 4D is that uh, you can rearrange the interface as it is. So let's say I want the materials to be up here and I want to get rid of the structure and I want the coordinates to be on together with the attributes. What I'll do is to click and hold and drag it onto objects, 
go to structure, click on duck, just delete it and drag coordinates up to attributes and release it on that little block here. And that's it. Now you have the attributes and coordinates on the sa same tab and you have objects and materials on the same tab as well. And you have released a lot of space down here which is now taken up by the um, um, the preview window or, or whatever it's called. This one. Okay. Yeah, that's about it. Oh, another thing. Um, you can also change the way the colors are by going to preferences and uh, viewport colors. Here you can change what uh, color you want the different things in the viewport to be. Let's say you make a uh, sphere and make it edible. Select all points. Now you can see all the points are yellow, right? Let's say you want them to be uh, green to uh, make them stand out more. Then go to active points and select this color and just make it green. Now it's green. I'll just change it back to yellow because uh, that's how I want it. So uh, yeah, there's uh, a lot of customization in Cinema 4D. And uh, I hope you will learn something of this tutorial. Um, just, just a you can just go ahead and make your own uh, interface now. It's uh, really good because you uh, speed up your own speed up your own workflow. Thanks for watching this tutorial and uh, have fun with Cinema 4D.